Hello everybody, Sparkster1701 here. It's time to squeeze in another GoBot review. And today we're taking a look at another one that's very difficult to find complete on the open market. This is, of course, the Guardian GoBot Dozer. Dozer was originally available in 1984. He would only be available in 1984. He would be discontinued by 1985. One of the reasons that Dozer was cancelled early is likely due to the very tiny loose pieces that he has. Including, as you can probably see, the little tiny gun in his hand. As you can tell, that could easily be swallowed by a child. So that likely led to him being taken off the market very, very early. That and the fact that he made very few to probably no appearances in the GoBots cartoon. So thus, we really didn't get a chance to learn much about Dozer. Now as a toy, Dozer here does have some pretty solid heft to him due to a die-cast metal body. As for articulation, well, he's got quite a few of that too. His arms do rotate at the shoulders. This is a pretty stiff version, but as you can see, he can rotate his arms up. And he can go all the way down. I'm a little hesitant to make him do much more, because I'm afraid I'm going to break him. But I think we can safely assume that, like most of them, with this kind of an arm design, his arms could go all the way around. He does have a joint here at his hips, brings about both legs up. Does have a knee joint, but basically causes him to bend his knees the opposite direction, but you can at least get a kick going there, or bend both of them at the same time and he can sit down. And there is a joint at the ankle, but again, it's more for training, it's more for converting him, but he can do some sort of weird looking kick there. <laughs> Strange one at that. Now we'll go ahead and convert Dozer. First thing we're going to do is, of course, remove his gun. We're going to come down here to his feet. Push the bottom of the feet in. So it will bring out the blade. And then next, we're going to fold, bring his arms down to the sides, like so, and then push them in at the shoulder. Let him slide through my fingers. Good thing my feet weren't down there, that would have hurt. And then we bend him at the hip and the knee all the way over, like so. And then next, that leaves us free to attach his roof piece. And then the gun can be attached here as a smokestack. Or an exhaust pipe, however you want to prefer to refer to it as, but there you have it. Dozer's alternate mode, a bulldozer. As if you probably needed the help to figure that out with a name like that. Yeah, well, he's got the fake chrome treads here on the bottom. There are little wee wheels underneath him. Let's see how he rolls. Not very good, folks. Those little wheels are definitely too small for rolling. So basically, he just putters along. About what you would expect from a bulldozer, but... Still, it'd been nice if he could have moved just a little bit under his own under his own power. But since he is a bulldozer, I guess we really shouldn't ask for too much more. 
Dozer here is one of the few GoBots to have loose pieces, so we'll take a look at his loose parts. We're going to start with probably the hardest of the two to find, his gun, or the exhaust stack. As you can see, this weapon is very, very, very tiny. Let's put it here in my thumbnail. Let's try that again. Good thing that the carpet under here is green. Might have lost it otherwise. As you can see how little that thing is. So you can imagine this wound up going through several vacuum cleaners. Or other tiny spaces. And disappeared from the world. So find one like this is a very rare treat. And as you can see it is also all in chrome. So th this is a beautiful weapon, but as you can also imagine, it's also very hard to find. Trust me, I paid a pretty penny to get this to, to get this toy. And then next is the roof for the bulldozer. The posts on here are different sizes. The ones in the front are a little longer than the ones in the back. As you can see, this one's not perfect either. Hold it maybe at this angle, you can tell. The one rear post, it does have the... Well, the end of it is broken off. But as you can imagine, with how thin the plastic is on this, it probably got broken very easily, because these... All four of these little legs underneath it, these are all, they're very, very thin, so they will break very easily. And I consider the fact that, well, I managed to get the gun and the robot's in relatively good shape, so cut your losses and run. And unfortunately, since does are made hardly any appearances in the GoBots media, we really don't have any idea as to who he is or what he does. So that makes it very hard to review, give him a full review, but we'll still leave with my thoughts. What do I think of Dozer? I think Dozer is one of those that's unappreciated. And a lot of that, unfortunately, comes from Tonka not really pushing anything for him. The lack of any real appearances in the GoBots cartoon or even in the GoBot magazine, which came later, meant that they, had, they lost an opportunity to develop this character. The only thing to really base him on is the Decept is the Transformer bulldozer known as Bone Crusher. And in that sense, that would make Dozer also something of a tough guy. Due to the fact that bulldozers are very tough, resilient vehicles. As I know a number of years ago, there was a well-publicized story of some guy went on a vengeance crusade through his town in a modified bulldozer and pretty much was unstoppable until the vehicle got stuck. So in a lot of ways you could also transfer some of those some of those hardy things to Dozer himself. Being a bulldozer, you would expect his body's got to be coated in some extra thick armor. So that would make him a little tougher than your average GoBot. Whether he'd also share Bone Crusher's function in demolitions or not, that's hard to say since we really don't have anything to go on. But I think the tough guy approach would probably be about the best to go with Dozer. Now, of course, if we take the GoBots by their original intent to be a cops and robbers version would that make dozer here their equivalent of dirty harry yeah that might be a stretch too that gun 
there doesn't look anywhere near as impressive or as dangerous as a 44 Magnum. But I'm going to put Dozer at just barely into the middle tier. He only just barely skirts being in the bottom tier due to the lack of information available on him and the accessories really aren't that great. I mean, I understand the removable rooftop as I do have a knockoff bulldozer that converts very similarly to dozer here and it also had a removable roof section but it was small enough you could stick it on top of his head as a hat and it didn't have the smokestack there to be a gun so I think this one could have been done a little bit better was it a mistake to probably release it in the GoBots line? Pretty likely. Was it a mistake to be made as a machine robo back in Japan? That's not for me to say. I don't know enough about Japanese toy laws from the 1970s when he was released originally. So, I'm not really one to judge or question it. But... I think Tonka should have probably skipped this one if they really weren't going to put the effort in it and with the obvious child safety thing with him, I think they would have been better off leaving this one behind and going with some of the other more interesting looking machine robo toys. And that concludes my review of the Guardian Gobot Dozer. If you like the video please leave a thumbs up here on YouTube don't forget as well hit that subscribe button down below and join up within our robot ranks please also consider sharing your thoughts of dozer in the comments section down below this is sparkster 1701 saying I will catch you all later